Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you how to run or open a Java file in Windows if for some reason you are unable to do that by double-clicking the Java file. Here I'll be using this fitstask1.jar file. This is used for modeling fit law in one dimension. As you can see right now, this doesn't look anything like a Java file. It's just some WinRAR file. But when I right-click and select properties, it shows here from the file type that it's actually a Java file with .jar extension. But when I double click on it, it opens up with WinRAR, which is not what I want. Now, even after fixing the problem of opening up with WinRAR, which I'll be showing you in a moment, I ran into an even bigger problem. Here, as you can see, my JAR file now looks like an actual Java file. But when I double click on it, nothing happens, just nothing. It's almost like I didn't click on it at all. So in this video, I'll first show you how to change the JAR file from a WinRAR file to an actual Java file, and then how to run the JAR file if for some reason you can't do that by double-clicking as usual. So now without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first is the WinRAR issue. Now, if you don't have WinRAR installed on your computer, then yours might look different. Maybe a plain file icon like this. But in any case, it's usually one of two problems. It's either you don't have the Java Development Kit, that's JDK, installed on your PC, or you haven't set it as the default program for opening your .jar files. Here, I should mention that I already have the Java Runtime Environment, that's JRE, installed on this laptop. So it's technically possible to run the Java file without installing the JDK. But the JDK makes it more convenient and more user-friendly. And if you're wondering the difference between JDK and the JRE, the JDK basically contains everything that is in the JRE together with other tools like the compilers and the debuggers, which makes running such JAR files more convenient. So for the case of not having JDK installed, you can simply go to oracle.com and download the latest JDK that corresponds with your system specifications. I will also be leaving a link down in the video description. And after downloading, simply install with default configurations and then you will be good to go. Now to get it looking like an actual Java file and opening with Java by default, first open your file explorer, click on the view tab and go to where it says options, click on the drop down and select change folder and search options. Now a dialog box like this should pop up. Here click on the view tab and search for where it says hide extensions for known file types. Uncheck it and then apply and hit OK to complete the process. Now if I go back to my JAR file, I will see it now has the .jar extension added to the file name, but still it doesn't look like an actual Java file and would still open with WinRAR if I double click on it. Now to get this file looking like a Java file and opening with Java by default, simply right click on the JAR file and select open with. Then click on choose another app. Here select Java Platform SE Binary and then check the box where it says always use this app to open .jar files. And then you should have your Java file looking like a Java file and ready to run. This also helps you to identify your Java file from a bunch of other files. But still, when I double click on the Java file, nothing happens, which brings us to the second issue of nothing happening when you double click on your Java file. Now here is how to fix that. Go to where you have your Java file saved. I have mine here on the desktop. Right click and go to new and then go down to text documents. You can name yours whatever you like. I will name mine run. Then more importantly, change the file extension from .txt to .bat. Hit yes on the dialog box and then you should have a file looking like this. Now right click on the bad file and select edit. It should open up a blank notepad like this. Here type in java space dash jar space and then the name of your jar file including the .jar extension. It's best to copy and paste your file name from the actual file especially if you have a long file name because this won't work for you if the file name is not exactly the same including the .jar extension. Then save and close the file. 
Now, whenever you double click on the bat file, it should automatically open up your Java application. Hope this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.